Hey everybody, Joe Casabona here, and you are about to watch a clip from a recent live stream. Now, I live stream just about weekly, and usually Wednesdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. You could always catch those streams live for free. Make sure if you want to, to subscribe to my channel. Click the bell if you want to get notified, but I always try to schedule it a few days in advance so you'll see it. Now, if you can't catch the full live stream, while they do go away after the stream is done, you could become a member uh, of the Build Something Club. That's my membership. And members have access to all previous live streams, the entire archive, and a lot more, like uh, ad-free extended episodes of my podcast, access to a community, automations I'm building and lots of other great stuff. So if you like this clip, be sure to subscribe to this channel, sign up for the Build Something Club, and uh, get out there and build something. Thanks. So let's let's do this. Uh, allow fields to be populated dynamically. Webinar, fantastic. So we can also get rid of the default value. I'm sure I'm sure Maddie could help. Maddie could 100% help. Shout out to Maddie Osmond at the Blocksmith. She's awesome. Uh, so default value will be none or generic or just nothing. It can't be nothing. Webinar not set. So save that. Check the settings for convert kit. JJJ sending everything properly. This is active. Okay. Email first name webinar webinar. Great. So now if I visit this page, did I save my settings? Zach posting a plug in here in the chat. Simple Ajax chat. I will, maybe I'll check that out after this. Here's, here's a thing that Brian Richards over at WP sessions does. He has rolled his own thing where you can just sign in. I don't know if we want, I don't know if this is public. But, um, well, he's made it really simple to sign. I'm, I, I'm sure if you've used, if you've attended WooSesh or WordSesh, you give your email address and then you're granted access to this page. Um, and I think he rolled his own thing for that. Thank you, Todd. I appreciate that, man. I think I could too. I'm, I, I overthink things. And then I also, I try to weigh the options of, is it worth paying for? Is it worth rolling my own thing? And in this case, I definitely think it's worth rolling my own thing. If I start doing webinars monthly or bi-weekly or something like that, uh, fortnightly, if you will, shout out to Liam Dempsey. Uh, if I start doing webinars like monthly or fortnightly, then it's worth paying for, right? Um, but at the present moment, if I'm only going to do it quarterly, like I just want to collect the email address um, for a, a bevy of reasons, but to to connect with the people, um, I guess the sequences would have to be set a proper way too, right? I can't just like say five days after they sign up, but so. I, Another thing I'll need to check is convert kit automations. Can they be set by date? Cause that would be very good. I'll have an automation. That's like, you know, if webinar equals certain value, then have these sequences set to go on a certain date. So we'll see. All right. Uh, Valerio, Valerio. I hope I said, I, I do this every time. Thanks for being here. Thanks for joining the live stream. I'm currently uh, having an existential crisis about something completely benign, as I often do. 
Uh, so, webinar. All right, so first of all, let's check the hidden value here. I like Safari as my everyday browser and as a development browser, it's trash. Sorry to say. I'm only sorry because it's a mild inconvenience to me. Okay, so there's the CAPTCHA. Or the honeypot, rather. Okay, this value is still gen born. Maybe I need to flush the cache. All right, so that works. But the default value is not getting updated. Curious. Very curious. Maybe just this is being, so webinar not set. How very interesting. Like why is, do I have a setting on this page? That seems like it wouldn't be the case, but what do I know? I'm just a big red truck. What? 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 Well, so first of all, this is very curious to me. Enable legacy markup. See what happens, right? I wonder what's in a wonder ball. Why? Still there. Super weird. Webinar not set. So something was getting set in the block. Splendid. 